<laughs> so here we are taking off on our european summer holiday i've waited for this for way too long this is me already exhausted at the airport lounge believe you me i was already gone okay uh, we passed security and everything and we were just about to board but yeah you can see my exhaustion because this is the first time i am taking my toddler out on a very long flight and a vacation in general i've taken her before but they were short flights she's one year three months and it was uh it was a challenge <laughs> we made it to the flight and this was my you know meal option that i had and this was exciting i'm like finally we're in the flight we're about to take off she's such a well-behaved child she's just very loving she'll go around just giving flying kisses to strangers and she'll talk to an uncle for hours just jibber jabber so she's just like wanting to walk all over that's what toddlers do they just don't want to be contained in a seat and i think that's what gets us very um I don't know, like tired, I guess, and exhausted keeping them in the seat. I think that's the major part of parents, like exhaustion. <laughs> but some things that helped us were A, my mom herself. <laughs> she is a co-parent to Abby, grandmother to Abby. And just like, just, uh, I don't have words to describe my mom because she's the anchor in my life. You know, she is the center part of my life, you know, and she has helped us so much, especially me, because I'm a very nervous Nelly, okay? I'm a nervous mom for the first time taking her daughter on a trip, and that's why I knew I needed mama. And I'm so happy I'm able to travel with her more often now, and I decided that I would really want to show her the world, and wherever I go, I want to take her with me along with Abby. So here we are taking off, and we are off on the longest journey it felt like eternity but this was a shorter flight actually to abu dhabi so like three and a half hour flight and yeah we had some food this was the food i was eating it was quite okay not bad i was flying etihad this one was quite decent the next flight had yummier food so a few things that can help your toddler with keeping busy is a sticker book like this abby was quite caught up in doing her own thing i got this sticker book from amazon and yeah she was just reusing the sticker again and again but this lasted a whole of like five minutes i think and then she got bored and wanted to walk around again so yeah be mindful of that i think just take whatever toys your toddler has never seen before like show them first time toys that's something i learned and yeah something that's easy to carry as well so this was our flight this was the longer flight actually and i was already gone this is my mom in her seat we were like two seats apart but yeah abby was knocked out she went to sleep because she was so tired and i was exhausted too and we hadn't even like taken off from abu dhabi this was the longest flight around seven hours if i'm not mistaken and yeah i was i felt like abby i wanted to just pass out but i was yeah i was in this upright position the entire time even though it was a premium premium seat but it's all about the baby and how abby wants to be she wanted to sleep on my chest and so i let that happen it was all first time for me so i'm literally uh, it's the unknown right it's the fear of the unknown so i didn't know it would be this tiring but um, we took out the slate and I was playing with her for a good half an hour on the slate. She loves this slate, by the way. You get this again, any toy store, Amazon, Jahabi, you get it. And this is also like a fun thing she loved. So two things was the slate and she loved the sticker book the most. The rest she did not even care. I don't know why I carried all of that. We were, I was playing migration on TV, so cute, but she didn't care. She just wanted to continue, uh, you know, with the slate and just, so we were hanging out keeping busy there were so many hours yet to go i highly recommend carrying toys your toddlers really love or some new toys that they haven't seen before are my two tips on the flight and the rest if they love books and stuff that's great as well baki to chamaj bowl bottle like she was just playing with everything around like you know the flyer in the airplane all of that so one snack abby really liked was this one by melts it's the carrot and cumin snack so she ate a couple every now and then yeah super cute and then i had my food so mom was taking care of abby right now and i was eating this meze platter as my appetizer so delicious and then the main course was seafood pasta it was delicious and then the haagen chocolate fudge ice cream or something, but also delicious. I had the meal and then I had a mad breakdown because after the meal, I had, I think, four hours. I don't, I don't remember. It was quite a long time. Abby was just running around. 
I was just second guessing my entire trip. I was like, did I make a mistake? I should not have done this. Guys, first time mom, please be very gentle. <laughs> I know the next time I'm going to be great, but this happens to the best of us. We try our best. There's nothing more I could have done. I gave in, I gave my best, you guys. So yeah, this is us sleeping right before descending and we are in the apartment. So awesome. Look at me. I'm so glad to be in the apartment after what felt like an eternity. And we went to the grocery store to pick up some stuff for breakfast. It's a tradition in the Sitlani household, whichever country we go to, even for vacation, whatever. If we're staying in an Airbnb, we go grocery shopping and we get stuff like yogurt, eggs, bread, berries, like the basic breakfast item. We make sure we eat something and then head out because it seems like a very long, like I don't want to wake up and head out. You know, I just want some time at home. I want to wake up aram se, take a shower and we had a toddler so I knew. So every day we would leave around 12 p.m. That's why we got a breakfast in. And my mom made ghar ka chai also. See, we're having chai, looking, uh, overlooking the canal, the canal river. And it was just so good. River hai ki lake, I don't know. My mom's just enjoying her yogurt. And she was like, the food was so delicious, you guys. Even grocery bought items were so real and amazing. And this was our first walk. And just footpath clean roads not very big roads because everybody bikes over there literally they have a biking lane there's barely any cars on the road there's just one road <laughs> so you can imagine how small the city is my favorite kind and then this is me in all my just excitement ready for our first adventure my mom was strolling abby because she wanted to i know you guys are gonna i don't know there are some people that are just plain mean online but we're just having a good time okay my mom wanted to stroll abby all around so she was doing that and this is the canal that uh we we could see right across from our apartment so yeah i wanted to show you the morning bustling at the coffee shop <laughs> literally do look at this zero traffic people biking this is like every morning this was what was happening i just wanted to take a look from a pov and um, fresh bread used to come from the store like fresh hot baked goods and people used to like sell it out so it was just a pleasure seeing all this like you know normal stuff happen which seems like a pleasure to us because we don't get to see a lot of this in mumbai city mumbai is just overcrowded and you know it's not like apna mumbai jo mumbai tha na pehle pehle i love that mumbai dude and now i feel like it's just overcrowded and i kind of like we kind of miss the simple pleasures of life like biking walking with abby on the, in the stroller sitting in the park so we did literally that we didn't do any touristy things except for one or two i think we did not see any sort of big museums or go to some touristy spot. We stayed away from crowded areas and we just went to the park and we watched ducks and we just ate some berries and, you know, the simple things that you can't do in the city. Look at this. Wow. Literally ducks wow. everywhere. And this is just a park nearby. Oh, no. The Airbnb. Hi, ducky. Like oh, no. <laughs> this is literally Abby's, like... <laughs> this is Abby's book, Animals Come to Life, literally. She was like stunned, overexcited, simple moments and joyful moments like this is what is why I fly like hours away because this literally gives me so much joy to just sit in the park and do nothing. That's basically what I want to do all the time or every other weekend. So yeah, this is us entering the park. Her favorite matcha auntie. She calls her auntie, but matcha is her favorite, so matcha auntie. But this was us, like, this was a moment, right? A core memory after the year that I have been through. Like, all of us went through such a difficult year. Um, and especially me with my entire separation and pregnancy, blah, blah. It was such a thing. So to have this moment, I'm praying over here. I'm praying to Jesus and I'm thanking him for this very moment that he has blessed me with and blessed all of us in our own world walks of life you know that we are we're here today after so much of difficulty I never thought I'd actually get out of what I was in and little do you know man 365 days have gone and here I am 
um to all glory be to god i am healed and i'm i feel good and i'm literally in the best place of my life and you can see how happy i am and unbothered i am and i'm so in the moment with my favorite girls laughing eating berries is all i thought of when i was in the hospital the entire time last year going through an infection and ivs and going back to the hospital cuz abby was sick it was like a whole journey last year you know so it felt good guys this is like a core memory for me like this picture right here is a core memory for me and then we went out for pizza dude what a pizza i love plain crust arabiata pizza and garlic bread and abby loved this entire like this bread piece that you see she was eating it all so simple foods like this was so good and next to us was a table with a dad and like four boys i think or three boys and he was just like feeding them pizza and they each had one whole pizza to themselves um they just about to join us on the next table that was also like a memory for me because this dad was literally like taking care of the toddlers and we saw a lot of dads actually just taking care of the baby which is a good sight to see it was quite surprising but a pleasant sight to see that it was like shared responsibility over there um seeing both the parents take responsibility and more fathers to be honest um yeah this is us having our coffee cuz we got to get all the coffee we need and we wanted to try so many cafes veronica is very good at planning trips like this you guys um this is the egg shark shuka that i was having my favorite so yeah veronica's good at planning newer destinations she does her research very well she's a planner and she loves doing it and i hate planning every part of planning a vacation like irks me i can't do it so it's the best to have people who love to plan and veronica took us around to the best spots you guys like her itinerary is one to watch out for i hope she releases this itinerary in some way i, I think veronica should make money off of this this could be her second career like literally look at this adorableness her favorite nonya and her just like look at how comfortable she is with her grandmama she loves her off we are to our next mission we're always like cafe hopping and then we're going to the next destination but walking was like a thing in amsterdam so we just walked to places each like the farthest place was like 20 minutes that's how like far the place was so it was just so blissful koi traffic nahi tha koi dhua nahi tha no pollution no population it's like just your own free road and nobody cares about you in it can be a pro and con like i said but people are just doing their own thing no one is looking at you no matter what you're wearing which is just a little freeing to be honest and we caught a bus actually because we wanted to go to the goat farm so here we are sitting in a bus and this was like a good 40 minutes away there was this huge like foresty farm area and abby loves goats so we wanted to take her there but we did not make it to the goat farm because we stopped at this beautiful pool area which i'll show you abby loves ice cream <laughs> look at that so cute so this is it you guys like you take a bus ride and you come over the weekend and you can spend the whole day with your toddler here which is what i love there's always things to do when you have children and i think that is why i was so happy because every day there was something to do with abigail and she enjoyed it so look at this you guys my eyes my eyes is just blessed right now veronica was on top of the world this was the area i was talking to you about there was like this hidden pool spot where all the children were like diving in so abby also went in i went in with abby it was so much fun and then we got so tired we went to this amazing food court kind of situation and yeah we had some churros some dumplings some oh so freaking good so yeah i think this was one of the best meals we had because we had a lot abby was completely sleeping in her own world i think by this time she sort of went to sleep it was 6:37 over there so she was like, completely exhausted by then so we went to this cafe the next day and we got some boba matcha and boba tea and we i don't remember this day i think we were going on the canal cruise which was one touristy thing we did but it was very hot that day like supremely hot which was not the best day to go but look at these pancakes <laughs> the mini banana nutella pancakes so delicious oh my gosh guys waffles pancakes crepes like i'm your girl like i can down that whole thing immediately i'm a nutella girl all the way So yes this is us going to the canal cruise enjoying it I took whatever clips I could find I was trying not to vlog or put up the camera so it's like choppy it's in bits and pieces 
I just want to live the moment. You guys, gone are the days of excessive vlogging. I think I can do that if when I'm alone, I guess. But look at my pretty mama with the sunglasses and just in her element. Look at her playing with the headphones, you guys. You don't need many toys. Just give whatever's lying around and your kid will be busy detangling that headphone. <laughs> And then we went to grab a salad. We just walked over. I think this is Moods Cafe, I think. Yeah, we grabbed a salad and we grabbed a smoothie, like a frozen iced smoothie. It had passion fruit, mango, stuff like that. And Veronica had a green smoothie. It was delicious. And Abby had bread. Abby somehow loved dry stuff. She loves dry chapati, bread, uh, paratha. So she had bread again, which she loved. Abby literally survived on formula, Dudu, I'm telling you. So cute, what a moment. And yes, our favorite coffee. This was one of the best coffees I had, by the way. Nomo's salted caramel latte. It was delicious. Then this was the best meal I had. <laughs> I keep saying that, but this was the most expensive meal. This was A Fusion. This is a fine dining place we went to, recommended by a friend. And amazing. Oh my God, the Korean barbecue. Oh, the Korean fried chicken was a dish that I still dream of. And we didn't do fine dining all the time. This was one fine dining we did in the entire trip because we had street food, cafe food. We're good that way. Then we put Abby to bed and Veronica and I just stepped out and went for a half an hour walk. And it felt so good being without child for one second. I don't know. It just feels nice when you get out, go for a walk and, you know, just like I'm not responsible for anything for a time being. It just like... Every mom needs a break. Let's let's get to that. I don't know why I'm justifying it. But this walk was so beautiful. Look at the sky. It's 10 p.m. You guys. I think it was like, yeah, 10 p.m. And the sun was just out there. The most beautiful scenery. I just wanted to show you what I'm seeing. Look at the people just chilling, having a good time. It is just like that every day. It's This is how people are. Every time I went out, I saw people just hanging out and just eating ice cream and getting waffles and shopping. And this is like the daily life there, which looks pretty amazing, might I say so myself. Look at that view. It looks like it's right out of a postcard, doesn't it? Like, I was very happy, like you can see. I was like unbothered by what I was wearing because we went for a grocery run and then we just happened to find this beautiful sky it's literally like the heavens look at that oh my goodness I can print this out man it's so beautiful so yes next day we have gone again to the mission this time I think we're going to the zoo which was my favorite part of the Amsterdam trip you know when you have toddlers or kids you just end up becoming a kid and doing things adults would never usually do if they were single or married and stuff aquariums zoos biking like i don't know it feels like i would never do it actually so it feels good to like step out and go into just become a child this pancake was very sweet i did not like it just ps <laughs> okay here we are entering the zoo again this was super close by and this was the weather was perfection here like there was no sun it was quite cool, like an air-conditioned kind of vibe. It just felt like the perfect time to do the zoo trip. And Abby obviously could not really wrap her head around what we were seeing and stuff. She's too tiny, but uh, we enjoyed. My mama and Veronica had the time of our lives. I, yeah, there's just some creature everywhere around this. Look at those flamingos. I love flamingos. I don't know why, but I love flamingos. The way they look, their skinny long legs, I just love it. And we just went around um, strolling Abbey all, all around and just soaking in the different animals. And they was, look at this, okay? <gasps> you guys, I was very, very excited. I just love seeing animals all around. And a lot of kids actually were there, which was really helpful because Abby could see and interact with other babies. And it's nice. I'm telling you, it's just nice to be out like that. <laughs> These were giraffes. I was stunned. My mother, Veronica, and I, our jaws were on the floor. I don't know why. There's something about seeing a giraffe in person. And elephants in person. I think two animals where I just could not get over. I think all of us were just smiling year to year. Um, my mom was so happy looking at the elephant because my mom and Abby have a thing with elephants. Like, they always talk about elephants. Look at that smile on my face. You can't, you can't beat that. You can't beat that. Look at those elephants at the back. And the giraffes and zebras just, like, minding their own business. Abby loves to walk. Like, she just started gaining her balance um, 
around i think uh, when she was one year two months more so and ever since then she just wants to walk so we put on her crocs and off she goes catching the birdies and giving flying kisses to everybody and it's just abby being abby that evening we also went for another walk after the zoo we love we always walk back to the apartment it's just a thing we just pick up some stuff to eat we i think we were getting stroop waffles here i did not love it i'll be honest it wasn't the best thing maybe we ate the wrong thing i don't know i was not a fan it was too sweet too sugary so this apparently is a very well known joint but did not love it so yeah that was the end of our amsterdam trip and here we are off to Paris. This is a three and a half hour train journey and it was a smooth one at that and also so beautiful with all the farms. And then we quickly went out for a walk and grabbed something to eat because we were starving. Beautiful sun shining, people in good spirits. We had Vietnamese cuisine, some baos and some egg fried rice. And then we went out for ice cream. We had pistachio ice cream and Abby was loving it. <laughs> in the apartment we got an airbnb they hosted us for those nights and we are having dosa and aloo my mom carries her dosa pan everywhere because abby needs her food i crave indian food sometimes so she carries the masala and yeah my mom does my mom does and this is us just like having dosa in paris it hits differently you guys dosa chai and aloo and abby just chomped on the dosa that day she ate so well then we stepped out we're getting some coffee Mom always, she looks so pretty, getting some cappuccino and then we went out for some Mexican food. We got some nachos. This was a very good meal. Very good meal. Like we loved that meal. We went to the park as usual, simple things. Abby did not leave the sand for an hour. She just sat there no matter what. And I was sitting with her. This is all the children playing on a regular weekday, just having the time of their lives. There were like, a, I think a school picnic happening where these boys were wearing those jackets so they could be identified. It was, it was a thing. Where are we? What are we coming here to do? Eat McDonald's, McDee's. <laughs> McDee's and Pepsi. All the way, 30 yeah. minute drive later. Because it was on our wish list. This is the Emily in Paris McDonald's. Yeah. This was Veronica's wish, to be honest. She wanted to go into the McDonald's where Emily in Paris was shot, and this was it. And she wanted to have the macaron from this place. So I was like, okay, this was next to Champs Elysees. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. This is what you get macaron, donuts, like all different kinds of stuff in the McDonald's. So yeah, we just went here for Veronica because she's like, I have got to because I've come to Paris. So, but it was delicious. I'm not going to lie, like the raspberry macaroon was actually yum and I don't like macaroon, so it was something. And usually McDonald's really gives me like this acidic, gassy kind of feeling. Yeah, they sell pastas too, like a proper pasta salad here. But I didn't really feel anything. I was actually pretty okay after the meal. So I don't know, man. It's just good quality food, I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, Emily in Paris, macaroon. Yeah. She's eating macaron in McDonald's in Paris and next to Sean's amazing. It's so good, you would like it. It's very berry. Uh, mm. I usually don't like macarons, but it's young. What are we doing? Buying sambas. Ah, ah. Sambar no? Sambar, sambar. no, sambar. <laughs> I thought it was sambar. Then they told me. We're <laughs> I think this is the next day. Yes. We're heading out just for the day. She planned an itinerary and we just go ahead and follow through. I think the first thing we're going to is to get coffee because that's what we always do. We saw this beautiful like bakery kadukana and I wanted to show you the fresh bread that you get there. Look at this, okay? Fresh, fresh baked goods. Like, doesn't your mouth water? Like, oh my goodness, the beignet and everything. Ah! Though I didn't, I didn't take anything, you guys. We just got a baguette and we left. This is another touristy thing we did for two minutes and we left, guys. Like, literally left. And this ice cream was game changer for me. It's this pistachio vanilla ice cream. I don't know, I think, is it Turk? it's not turkish i don't know i don't know where it's from but it's this chewy kind of texture 
and it is delicious like i could have another thing i can still taste it i could have so many of these abby loved it as well hello madam we are at stop one of our japanese food crawl yes we are at for the hair place number Oh. Two, four, gyoza, eight pieces of gyozas. We can do it easily. Easily. We went to Aki Bulajiri for mochi, which Malika did not like at all. Yuck. I will insert pictures here of me loving it. And then we got matcha. And now we're going home. home. Because so then we're going for dinner. Sugo ala fresca pasta. <laughs> there. <laughs> And then we went to a pasta bar. Yeah, that we, that's just sparkling water, by the way, or lemonade or something. Tiramisu and pasta. It was such a good meal. Oh my goodness, I enjoyed it a lot. Um, the pasta was fresh, hand cut pasta and stuff. The food's good there, man. It's really good. Our last coffee. Hopefully not our last coffee, but our last day in Paris. I'm gonna be drinking so much coffee. My eyes gonna be twitching again. <laughs> Abby with her water, salted caramel latte, iced chai ginger, matcha mint. Then we went to this touristy, any touristy museum spots. You see, it's all Veronica's wish to go. So I just accompany her. This was, I cannot pronounce it, but this is like this whole mirror thing at the bottom and then the reflection you can see. My God, art people are going to hate me right now. But yeah, this was all Veronica, Veronica end to end. She just wanted to take a stroll over here and this was just a moment again um, we thought we would do this like she thought she wanted to do this and it came true we ticked off everything on her bucket list and mine as well and here we are going into another food market kind of a place where we get different kinds of cuisines so we got like the meze platter again abby ate that whole caboose situation look she just loves 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 feeding me and anyone around she loves feeding and eating herself so then we had a re i think this was a ravioli a yum toma uh, tomato sauce ravioli we got another fresh smoothie because i love a good iced smoothie this was a passion fruit smoothie and hers was a mango smoothie so delicious and then we took abby to a park where she again abby was no. teasing me abby no she likes to pretend to eat um sand abby <laughs> She's so much the cold. No eating sand. Abby. No eating sand. <laughs> and Abby just walked around giving flying kisses to all the mothers she saw. She was just tapping people on the shoulder, like all the babies on the shoulders. She was walking wild and free. Abby loves park. Who doesn't love a park, man? Come on. But it's just it went to it just opened my eyes out to like what my daughter loves man and what i'm kind of missing in the city i'm living it's plain and simple <sighs> anyway i enjoyed this a lot veronica had booked a very expensive pastry for mumbai cedric grole i hope i'm pronouncing that right and it was the most delicious tart i have ever eaten and it's very expensive it's 3.5 i think 3500 per tart and she got two tarts and we ate that entire thing we ate the whole thing just after this shot the tart fell down on the floor guys face down chapak it fell on the floor uh just like joey and rachel we picked it up and we finished it at home that's just yeah next that's year really, yeah. <laughs> jen is scraping off the layer of the cake mom's eating the pastry that fell on the ground <laughs> and we're headed home that was the last day i didn't capture a lot but dude i was tapped out also but this was such a fun 10 day trip i'm hoping to do another one really soon because i just love traveling and yeah my skin is going through row it next flight is 6 hours to mumbai let's go baby clearly i i'm tired was that funny <laughs> <laughs> 